And here is your men's championship bracket semi-finals set in place. Fiji double gold medalists will take on Australia in a little bit, but it's time for our first semi-final as defending champions New Zealand take on Ireland. Brian Hightower, Dan Powell with the call. Action continues in Cape Town, South Africa, the Rugby World Cup sevens. Semi-finals for the men's division now, New Zealand, Ireland, and Brian Ireland. You'd have to say the upset of the tournament so far last night, knocking out the home team in South Africa. Well, it surprised a lot of people in the stands in Cape Town, but no surprise to the Irish. Their team that can manufacture tries. They've got two of the most prolific try scorers in world rugby right now in Terry Kennedy and Jordan Conroy. They're a tough twosome to defend. And their defense yesterday was really the hallmark of that performance against South Africa. But they're going up against the All Black Sevens, who are also notorious on defense. They leak very few tries. This is Leo. Was instrumental in their victory last night. As now Nashu back inside. First try comes McCarvey Black. It did not take long. That defense from Ireland was tested and beaten within the first 60 seconds. They lead the tour in offloads, which means even if you get to the ball carrier, you have to make sure his hands aren't free to make the pass. Nashu on the way to the ground. Sorry. McGarvey Black Come off, please. into the try zone, but the offload was sublime. Time off, please. There's not okay, successful. 5 0, a dream start here for the All Black Sevens. So is the dominance of that Pacific nation in New okay. Zealand. Women going for three. The men at the same time. When you start, you kick off full time on, okay? When you're ready. Great mix for New Zealand and experience and youth. Moses Leo on the field right now. He's been really dynamic for this All Black Sevens team. Oh, shoot, the counter rock was absolutely monstrous. And McGarvey Black, well, Nashu set up McGarvey Black with the pass the first time. This one he's done with absolute brute force. Two tries now for McGarvey Black and New Zealand. Well, Ireland just gets bullied at the breakdown. Curry with the tackle, but monster effort from Nashu. Just driving Irish ball carrier back over the ball. Two from McGarvey Black. Seeing two things here early on, Brian. Firstly, the class of New Zealand. Second, the emotional roller coaster that is sports. The high, the dump that happened last night for Ireland over South Africa. They just haven't rebounded. They've come out extremely flat here. Everything went their way last night against South Africa. It was a dominant performance against the home favorites. <laughs> Roko Lasoa pumps one into touch. And so if ever there was a time that Ireland needed middle, a break please. to try to restart and get back into this game, it's this tap from the midfield. Griffin taps it, turns it back. You've got to come to your feet. You're on your hands. They had possession and gave it away. One of the Two stars last Must night. Must come to his feet to play. Set piece. Incredible. You've got to be accurate when you play against this All Black Sevens team. And I think you're right. Perhaps that emotional roller coaster, the toll of what it takes to put a performance on that they did last night against South Africa just really flat right now which is exactly the opposite of what we saw 
from the Irish last night. Great moment there, as you saw. Rock of the side. Down the Irish Mark's defense, here. not wanting to commit. Almost felt like David Attenborough you know, watching an animal documentary as the cobra slithered to the mongoose den. It's there, thanks, man. A try before the break would be huge here for the Irish. Black on the line. Kennedy Please. over the ball quickly. Yeah, they're going to stand on the line. Has rights to it and wins the penalty. McNulty right in the air yet again. Now, Ireland look to stretch this New Zealand defence first through Kennedy. Leave him! No, 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 no. New Zealand begging the referee to call that ball out. Ireland retain now McNulty. Kennedy to his left. Roach finds Criven, Criven wide again, turns Kelly back on the inside. It's better stuff from Ireland there as they go up towards the 40. The counter ruck comes in, dominant again. No, he was. Nah, shoot. Nah, shoot. What a force he has been at the breakdown so far in this game. Last night, Ireland so clinical with the ball. And they were able to recycle Scrum phases serve. so cleanly and quickly against Scrum South pull. Africa. But look at the mess that the black shirts are making at the breakdown. Such commitment. And you could tell that's their game plan going in. Be ferocious Wait, in the contact on, hold, area. And they are making a mess Crouch. for this Irish team to clean up. Bond! Let him be. Set! Behind the ball, please. Ball back with New Zealand now in the hands. Molia. Yeah, backwards, play on. Let it come. Turned over, it's though. It's there, it. Potentially here for Ireland. Proven. They come wide. McNulty. Little step, little shuffle. Lays it back, may have been lost though, it has no control there. Leave it there. On the putback from McNulty. This has been a rough start for Ireland here in the first half. Well, it, you know, and, and this, the, what McNulty just did is a product of the mess that the All Black Sevens has, have been making at the breakdown. So he's trying to get the ball back quickly. Understand. He knows that pressure's coming. And as a result, understand. lays That's back a sloppy basic, ball, okay. it gets knocked forward. Understand. Come in, please. Crouch! New Zealand set the table for that turnover in Bond. previous phases. The mental game set. right now is being won by the men wearing black shirts. Rocco Lasoa, a little space down this short side. Can I bait the tackle? Good scramble from no. the Irish. Now Kennedy with some no, time. Play on. Back inside, back outside, beautiful stuff from the Irish. Here goes Kelly. Kelly needs help. Can't find it. one of his teammates. He's trying to do a basketball pass over the top to find Jordan Conroy. If he would have found him with that pass, Conroy would have been off to the races. And the referee Second man without a ball. Notices the seriousness of that infraction against Leo. And we talked about the youth of this team and that experience Trump. sometimes ill-discipline. There's Leo, grabs Terry Kennedy without the ball. And a two-minute no. reprieve no. for the Irish. Great chance to put one in. If they can go through some phases, isolate a defender, they'll have the one-man advantage. Well, the madness of sevens on display here. Bind. The dominance in this opening half from New Zealand has been Set. clearly on display. Yet Ireland now will have a chance to bring this to a three-point game at the break. Kelly could be the man to instigate. He'll look for his favorite target in Conroy. Middle of field, Smith, McNulty. Wide pass for Kelly. Kelly straightens things up inside the 22 of New Zealand. There's Criven. 
Roach. Here's Conroy. Finds Kelly as well. Those two. You'll hear their names simultaneously. Here's an opportunity. They'll get the try. Jack Kelly in the corner. It was patient work from the Irish and it pays dividends in the shape of five points. With that man down, they're not able to put, commit resources to the breakdown. So New Zealand goes from being able to, to contest at the ruck to laying off. It's going to give Ireland a free ball. They're eventually going to find this overlap, and it's just simple hands out to the open man. It's an important try for Ireland at this stage in the game. I'm having problems with me all the time, okay? I'm on top of it. Right, be sure. See the effort there from Scott Curry to no, no, keep no, no, Kelly no, no, wide. No, 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 dividends. No, no, no. This conversion is a difficult one from the sideline. Roach. Off the uprights. No good. Ten points to five. The score remains. Great shots inside Cape Town Stadium. Men's semi-final number one, 10-5 New Zealand. Good? After seven okay. minutes. New Zealand finished strong though with a try at the break. New Zealand still down a man, so six men on the field. Important restart if Ireland can go up and get this ball. Play on backwards they up three. He can. And it bounces a fortuitous one for Smith. We are tied up. What a start for Ireland here. Andrew Smith, the opening try of the second stanza. It's a ball game now. Chaos at the breakdown. Harry McNulty, you know, single-handedly was such a menace last night in the lineouts, going up, getting the ball, stealing two crucial South African lineouts, and this time it's the restart. McNulty just puts his name on it, goes up, wreaks havoc. Thank you. While New Zealand's trying to catch the ball and a free one for Smith on the way in. Version unsuccessful. I tell you, Brian, sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the finishes in this game of sevens. The speed of the players, but the tradesmen like McNulty, the grinders, can sometimes make all the difference in the world. He did last night and he has again today. Well, somebody has to set the table, right? And, and that's where you got guys like McNulty. Look at this. Oh, the bounce of the ball. Kennedy. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darters with the restart. We're set now, seven. Well, Green, it, here, it's please. perfect. We talked about just talked about McNulty Green, in the line out. This one a bounce to the right. And Kennedy scores another one. We'll see how New Zealand is going to prepare for McNulty's defense. Dixon, a very skilled line-out practitioner himself. But look, look at McNulty again go up almost. That time right. just gets the arm hooked in on Dixon. Number three in the air. What's the right arm hook there? There you see the penalty. Yeah, it's just, you know, Dixon gets both hands around it. McNulty almost got another one there. Huh. Gotta love a, a defensive forward who in the line out just considers so every ball in the air his. Easy for me, and that's okay. McNulty. Time off, please. Okay. Time on. Nolte again the steal for Ireland. Brilliant. So consistent. Kennedy will wait for some supporting players to get behind him. Hold six. Territory six, game again. Smith drives this down. Chase is on. Leo versus Conroy. <laughs> and that's that New Zealand. Conroy playing Early. Leo without the ball. Quick tap. Lasoa will look to attack off this. Picks up Nicole. Back inside. Nashu. Had an enforcer like start to this game. Advantage. Rocco Lasoa. Cross field has runners. Switches back inside. Footwork is good. Good hands from Advantage Nicole. Over. As he's now taking the ball wide. Nashu. 
This is where the Irish defence galvanised last night against the Blitz box. Can they do the same here against this All Black 7 side? Mugabe Black, Rocco Lasoa. No. Nicole will come back to the middle. Here's Curry. Nashu looking for Malia. Malia can't get away from Kennedy. Yes, he can. Sioni. Malia, big man. Speaking of big man, Nicole with the ball. Wide. Malia's got a score here. Oh, the defense of Ireland is absolutely brilliant. And then spilled forward. Leo going for the line, but he's lost it. Credit there to Brian Mullen. Time off. A try saver for Timo. Ireland. Timo. Matt, try yes well, please. The first try saver is Harry really. McNulty. Looked like Sione Malia was going to go in for a try. McNulty makes the tackle. And then the ball squirts out of the hands of Moses Leo. Huge defensive set there for Ireland. You can hear a loud cheer at the stadium here as well. As is usually the case, the team that knocks the home team out generally becomes not the villain, but the supported one. And you've got to say, it's not just St. Patrick's Day around the world. Everyone always identifies as just a little bit Irish, no matter where they're from. <laughs> you know, uh, also, you're not going to find a whole lot of New Zealand sympathizers in South Africa. We saw some great vision yesterday of Dan Carter on the screen. It, it was a short cheer, and then it turned into booze very quickly. <laughs> How long has DC been retired for, and he still gets booed in South Africa? It's brilliant. Joel, uh, Ruben, I have a decision. Yep. The ball has been knocked on by Green. Okay. In the tackle. Yep. So it's a scrum to New Zealand on the five. Okay, thank you. Let me explain. Well, no try, but... So it's been knocked on by Ireland in the tackle going forward, so it'll be a black scrum, OK? Yeah, but, but, but yeah, the, the knock-on came from so Brian Mullen. Decision's been made. You said they knocked yeah. In the tackle. Made. So no try, but at least... The restart is attacking five-metre scrum, OK? I get what Malia is saying there. He's like, well, it should be play on if it's an Irish knock-on, and then we grounded it. But I also agree with the referee I'll where... Time on whenever ready, please. whistled dead at that point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Crouch! Come on. Can Ireland keep New Zealand Five. out of the try zone once again? Six. No, no, no. Hold. Yeah. You let him be. No. Okay. You can blame the two halfbacks, okay? Let's go again. Give him space, please. Six. Crouch! What's going on, Tex? Okay. Go long. Go long. You can't find him over here, can he? Hey, two. It's, un it's dealt with, okay? He's going to go long. Crouch! Good pictures, good pictures. Bind! Set! After all that, the scrum finally complete. They come wide, Malia. Picks up Tangatau. Short! He's just short of the line. I thought there was an opportunity in the blind side. Baker. Long pass to Curry. Curry. Picks up Nicole. Just five short of the line here in New Zealand. Baker again. We'll go wide. McGarvey Black steps off the left. Steps again. McGarvey Black gets three. It's the McGarvey Black Show here in the semi-final for New Zealand. 15 points to 10. Oh, the footwork, the strength of that lower body and just shifting twice to dodge two Irish defenders. McGarvey Black, what a sensational game he's had. He's going through some tired Irish shoulders as well, but give that man some credit. Able to find space where none exists. Twice. Conversion successful. 17 points to 10. Under a minute left to play here. Quick way. Quick way so I can get out of the way. Quick way so I can get out of the way. They 
Baker taking his time at the restart. That one, not 10. All right, Irish fans, 20 seconds left on the clock. You need something special here. Where are you going, Brian? Well, it, Terry Kennedy, to me, you know, you, you set up with that delay with now, Ted. maybe a bruising run from one of these big forwards. Try to get some space on the corner for Kennedy and Conroy to do their work. McDonald takes the first. There's Conroy. Ball comes to Kennedy. Kennedy steps back. Conroy again. Conroy straightens the attack inside the 40. Patience needed here from the Irish. Try to go on the outside. Secured though. Mullins turned over. New Zealand. Down the sideline goes Malia. He needs to find it. And he does. They will hold on 17 points to 10. They go to yet another final. We go back to Alex Corbacero in the studio. Men's championship bracket. New Zealand progressing to another Rugby World Cup Sevens final. They're still on course for a three-peat. But now we'll find out who they'll be meeting in the final as it's men's semi-final number two, which sees two-time Olympic gold medalist Fiji taking on World Series winners Australia.